What's up guys? My name is Daniel Hainermoda and I am so excited to do this. I have waited to do this. I have been caught up with Boku no Hero Academia for a long time. I just have not gone around to do a chapter review of it. And yes, this is it. My Boku no Hero chapter review, number 47. All right, so basically with this chapter, I feel like it's kind of just a setup chapter, kind of a setup for other stuff. And also I have been seeing a lot of other reviewers say this is a training arc and I kind of see their point in there. And also what is Ilda up to? Um, the guy, super speed guy, Ilda, I believe, yeah, Ilda. Um, I don't know if he's going to go after the Hero Slayer or not. Lately, he kind of seems like, kind of like a Sasuke Persona kind of person now. Like, he was good, but he lost his brother, kind of like uh, Sasuke and Naruto. And he's kind of going down that route, kind of looking for revenge, sort of. It. But in a different way and tweaked and after this Hero Slayer. And this Hero Slayer looks kind of OP in my opinion. We actually haven't seen what this Hero Slayer can do yet. So it should be very interesting to see some of that. And he seems very mysterious and like kind of like an Obito kind of figure. As I keep making these Naruto references. But also we got to see more on the Villain Alliance. They are back once again. And they are going to make their move soon. At, probably again. They do have Brain Dead out of the way. But... They seem to have someone with a quirk that can give other people quirks. And this guy probably filled the, the brain dead guy with so many quirks that that's why he's brain dead. But that's he brain dead was pretty OP and it was cool to see All Might take him out when he did. That giant punch sending him out of the building. Flying. Flying. Also, we got to see Gran Torino go after... Midoriya and in the fight De or Deku or Midoriya whatever you call him he uses he focuses he thinks about it he does it kind of like a Chidori I noticed I don't know why these Naruto references are coming up but he does like that Chidori thing and presses up with the smash also did he break his arm or something because because he tried to smash him but even though it didn't connect he still probably should have hurt himself somewhat because he still can't control one for all yet, so is he actually hurt or not? Also, they get, did get on the subject with what Brain Dead knows and basically what the villain alliance is and kind of brings up some mysteries, but kind of stuff we already know because we, we are seeing both sides of the story, but we do not know who this uh, quirk grantor is or person who can give other people quirks is. But my thought is it's probably got to be the Hero Slayer. I mean, just from seeing this Arthur's style, it's like he kind of wraps everything up in an arc and that's it. But I don't know. Anyway, anyways, on that, we do see Midoriya figure out some secrets that Gran Torino told him that <clears throat> by respecting All Might and creating this like statue for him and all this stuff is putting shackles on One For All. And also he is the ninth inheritor of One For All. I would have thought 10 would have been cooler, like in Hitman Reborn, the 10th Longla. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. And peace out.